Dreallday.com. Today's daily discipline is about what we call rejection marketing. Now, many of you have heard of attraction marketing, which is simply doing things and saying things that will draw people in closer to you, make them like you, make them want to be around you. So back in maybe like close to 10 years ago, maybe a little bit less than that, a lot of people were doing this attraction marketing. This is when people first started. They still do this now, but this is when people first started. They would take pictures in like exotic places. They go to the lobby of a nice hotel and post photos, or they would uh, take a picture next to a real nice car, whether it was theirs or somebody else's, or uh, people you know, showing their material possessions because that would draw people in who like those material possessions and now maybe come follow you or get on your email list or sign up for your course because you had this stuff. That's attraction marketing. You're showing people stuff that is attractive to them and it makes them want to come closer and get into whatever you're doing. And attraction marketing does still work. It's not always um, you know, out front like that. It's not always about material things, but there are things you do that attract people into your world. There's also this concept that I'm talking about here today called rejection marketing. Rejection marketing is when you basically do the opposite, but not for the same people. So rejection marketing is when you do things and say things and share things that intentionally pushes a certain audience away from you so that they know that they should not come into your world. So you get people off the fence and they know exactly where you're at, where you stand, and you know exactly where you stand. And the reason why you do it, rejection marketing is because for every time you reject somebody away because you believe in this, then you're also pulling some other people in because you're pushing those other people away. So every, rejection marketing is kind of like a reverse psychology of attraction marketing. You're attracting people in by not paying attention to the people you're trying to attract, but pushing away the people you want to get away from you. And when the people who actually don't like those people either see you pushing them away, they're going to like you because they're like, all right, finally, somebody who doesn't like those people either. So let's say I was a let's say I was a, a Democrat and I started talking about how I hate Republicans and I hate MAGA and I hate Trump. And I just start trashing everything about anything conservative, Republican, right leaning. Right. And I just trashed them. Trash. That's all I did was trash them. I never even mentioned the Democrats, but I just trash everything Republican, conservative and right wing. But what would happen? A bunch of people who also hate them would become my fans because they're like, hey, you hate them. Me, too. All right, they would come into my world. So that's how rejection marketing works. So again, it's like reverse psychology. You're taking an extra step. You're going a step further and kicking people out, which it, by, uh, by omission, you're bringing people in, I guess, for lack of a better term. So this is what rejection marketing does. And I believe, I mean, some people have different ideas on this, but here's what I believe when it comes to this type of marketing is that if you're going to be an influencer, meaning you are the face of what you do, you're the face of your brand, the face of your business, and people are coming into your business because of their uh, affinity for you personally, not your product or you know, your company name, but you personally, you're the person, you need to do some rejection marketing. Whether it is forced upon you or whether you do it on purpose, you're going to need to do some rejection marketing. In other words, at some point, you need to let people know where you stand. Understanding that by doing so, some people are going to not like you, but it's also going to make other people like you even more. See, when you try to be bland and you try to fit in and you try to get everybody to like you, then you're kind of being vanilla is what we say. And <clears throat> here's the thing you should understand about vanilla. All right. It's only good in ice cream. All right. Vanilla is only good as an ice cream flavor. It ain't good as anything else. I mean, you're trying to appeal to everyone at the same time. You usually appeal to no one, none of the time. Or what happens is you may get people to like you, but they only like you on the surface. They're surface level liking you, they're not really bought into you. They haven't really bought into who you are and what you're about. And because my son's old enough to come in the room now, so he opens the door and comes in long before today. So he they not they only like you on the surface. They haven't really bought into you. All right. They're not really all the way into you when you're just trying to get people to like you. If you want people to love you and go deeper with you, then you gotta reject some people. You gotta push some people away. And the reason why this matters is because the us versus them dynamic is baked into us as human beings. In other words, we all want to be part of an in group, which has an out group. So you don't have an in group, you don't have an out group. See, if everybody can be part of something, then it's not as valuable as something that not everybody can be a part of. So when there's an exclusive group that there has to be, you have to have certain traits or you got to do a certain thing to be a part of it, that matters more than a group that everybody can get in. All right, this is why participation trophies don't work because. If somebody gets a trophy just for participating and the trophy doesn't have any value because you didn't have to do anything to get it. You just had to show up. But the trophy that you get for actually winning or coming in the top three or whatever it is, you no know, first, second, third place trophies, 
those trophies matter. Why? Because you had to actually do something. You had to perform something to get the trophy. So it means more. It has more significance because there's an in group of people who got the trophies and there's an out group, all the people who did not get a trophy. You get it? So this is what rejection marketing is about. And you need to think about those of you, especially those of you who are going to be the face of what you do. How are you going to do this? Because you're going to need to do it. And if you don't do it, what happens is it's not like you can't have fans. It's not like you can't have people who like you. But at the same time, they'll never go deep with you. They will not be deep fans of yours, which means they will leave just as easily as they showed up. All that said, text me. So you're getting my daily motivation text. I send it out every day. I send out a Monday motivation text every Monday. Guaranteed to have you focus sharp and on point. It's free to join my text community. My number is 305-384-6894. Numbers down below in the description. Work on your game university.com. That's the place I do all my coaching. Only place I do any coaching. You want to work with me directly, go there. Again, it's work on your game university.com. Links down below in the description. And what else? Oh, you hit the subscribe button. So you're notified every time we drop a new video here on this channel and work on your game. Dre.